Hey everyone, Zephyr here with another green light game for Steam or Vapor. This one's called Drift Moon, and it's very much like the old Baldur's Gate, um, Icewind Dale, Planescape, that's the other one I was looking for. Something like that, I remember the name of it now. Torment, Planescape Torment, that's it. <laughs> and games like that. Um, old computer style RPGs. I played this one for a little while. Just get through, get the hang of, the basic hang of it. And now I'm wandering around town. It's very much a slow RPG though. It's definitely it's not a action-based combat. You click the enemy and you attack depending on your attack speed. So no matter how fast you spam the mouse, it's not going to do anything for you. And there is a lot of text. There's no voiceovers. All of it is chat options. This is a lot of stuff and I don't think I really care. <laughs> but you have one guy with you. See, it's this kind of stuff. You can talk to them and they tell you stuff. When you've seen an option, it turns gray. And that's pretty much the gist of how all of the NPC interactions in the game go. Let's see if I can find some sort of combat or something. Those, is that a blood fountain? Strawberry juice fountain. I ran across a, a milk fountain, now there's a strawberry juice fountain. It's a very interesting world. Animals talk, and you know, it's normal apparently. If you saw on the entry screen, there was that skeleton wandering around the the island, just humorously spouting stuff. I'm not sure if I waited long enough for you to see any of that. Why is there a line of gold coins? I'll go after that in a second. You've got a food bar down in the bottom left there. <laughs> Attack the archery turret! Or target, rather. Not turret. But yeah, a food bar down there in the bottom left. Um, I'm guessing you can starve if you don't keep finding food. Was that it? Oh, that's right. I took a talent for finding goldfish, which are apparently food. Oh, where's the talent screen at? I have no idea. There it is. Goldfish scout. You find talents. Or you could go with random stuff. Go with shield, archery. It's not exactly a wide array, but it is there. Basic stats. Whenever you level up, you raise whatever you want to raise. Out of these six stats, um, strength, agility, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, five stats, I'm sorry. <laughs> so far, the story has been... When you for very first... Oh, what the hell? Sounds like they're going to explode. But they're not blowing up. <laughs> when you very first start, your mother res rushes over and shoves you in a well. Your father's looking for you. Come here, I'll give you what? There's too many health things! Oh! Move! Well, I didn't die. Ward did. Okay. So your helpers can't die, apparently. They just get knocked out, and then their health starts regenerating. But hey, they dropped coins, and killed whatever the hell that thing was. But yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> Owner Snatcher. Oh, Snatcher. The... Crab is the owner. Alright. <laughs> Silver feathers are apparently all over the island and they raise your mana, so long as you keep them on hand. I can't imagine why you wouldn't, but... The inventory stuff is pretty simple. You left click on it and it uses it. Equip, de-equip, yeah. Steel arrow, but I don't have a bow, so I can't really make use of that. Right clicking is just a move, so you can move with the mouse if you want, or you can move with the keyboard like I am, and treat it like a twin stick. I've always preferred using the keyboard. Even for stuff like Diablo, which unfortunately never really allows the keyboard, which is terrible. Hog puffs. <laughs> Biggish book of monsters. As you can imagine, there are cultural references. Uh, pop culture type stuff. Anything to make it amusing. Oh, I got a bow. There's apparently crafting too, although I have not gotten to the point yet where I know how to do that. 
Oh, it's a blueprint. I guess I just, yeah, reverse ooze powder. So you need blueprints, you click on the blueprint, and you make the item. Oh, stop clicking on that. <laughs> what does that do anyway? Run twice as fast. I'll go ahead and put that over here. Why not? I did, you can't reassign the keybinds for the action bar down there, so I just kind of have to use it with the mouse, which is another reason to move with the keyboard and not the mouse. What's that back there? Trophy. Nothing I can use. Wait, he's got the book in the cabinet and on there? Oh, and now the book belongs to me. I have two of them. <gasps> Bizarre. So yeah, apparently a bunch of lizard men attacked, turned all the people in the village to stone, kidnapped my father, and now we're off to figure out why. Hey, more stuff. And in the process, raid everything we can get our hands on. Wow, you can pick stuff up from a long distance. <laughs> Not through walls, though. Found City Hall. Man, you just keep picking those books up. The password is Mr. Scrub. I wonder what that's for. There's a lot of things like these chairs that clicking on them doesn't do anything, but you can push them around. I actually found gold coins underneath the plank doing that. And hey, every little bit, I have no idea what the gold does yet, but, you know. Mayor Biscuit. Another dagger, don't really need it. Snatcher, oh, that's the, the crab over there. Oh, he's the one that helped me get out of the town. I rescued him, and he opened the gate for me later. The gardening, what, of doom, something? Ooh. Mr. Scrub. <laughs> Turn the candle back on. And I now have armor. There we go. So this is definitely a slow-paced game. It's not not an action game. You know, things even take a while to to do for an RPG. Granny New Moon. But it is amusing and entertaining if you like these kind of games. Oh, nothing in her cabinets. Granny, you're useless. There we go. Two butterflies? I found one of them. Yeah, I need to find another butterfly. You can move the camera around a little bit. A very little bit. Move it up and down is really all. But sometimes that's helpful, I guess. If you need to see around corners more food. My food number is never going down. I guess maybe it just takes a crazy long time, and because I'm wandering around town still, I'm finding all sorts of stuff. Oh, mushroom. Shove this out of the way. There might be something under it. That looks like a silver feather. Nice. Oh, that's right, I have a torch. I'm like, I need light! You can also zoom in and out a little. Oh, actually, you can zoom really damn far in. Talk about gimping yourself, though. You can never see anything. And there's apparently a day-night cycle, which I hadn't really registered. <laughs> Death cap. There's stuff all over the place. You just kind of have to look around and find it because it does not jump out at you. Been over there. And there's the map. You don't start with the map, but you get it fairly quickly. Fountain, City Hall, Granny's House, Outer City.
Okay. And shift changes your um action bar. <laughs> so you can have two stick two things. I really wish shift was like a sprint or something, because this takes forever. He really does move slowly. Oh that's right. South was the line of gold coins. Trailing. Well, let's see what's up here first in the actual city. Hopefully I run into some sort of fight here soon. Even if the only thing I've fought so far is a couple spiders. One at a time, thankfully, because they're freaking gigantic. Oh, a ghost. And she gave me a golden, the, the other butterfly. The middle of the village. All right. I can't move the wood out of the way. It's hard. Oh, maybe I should do that. There we go. It's much easier to move things around when you use the right click mouse mouse to move yourself. You don't have to worry about sliding off as much. You just point it in a direction you go. Something to remember. Poor girl. So this is what you will be doing for a lot of the game. <laughs> and I think you can pretty much decide from there whether or not it's something you want to try. However, there are also mods for this game. So, you know, have new new expansions and campaigns and everything and, well, probably whatever people want to make. I assume they're player created mods. It'd be kind of weird if they called them mods and it was actually just developer stuff. Let's run down this way real quick. I want to see if I can at least get into a fight before I end this. It took a lot longer to explore than I expected. It feels slow, but at the same time, because it takes so long to do everything, time goes by fairly quickly. Cave entrance, huh? Come on, give me something to kill. And that hopefully won't kill me. But, you know, it wouldn't be the end of the world if it did. Gonna be a cave bat or a spider or something in here. Oh, an ooze. And you swing. Load up your your focus blow down here. Oh, and it turned into smaller ones. If you get poisoned, it wears off eventually and your, your health starts regenerating. Or you can use the antidote. Health potions. Lots of crafting stuff. Food. But yeah, that is Drift Moon. Save this and hop out to the main screen. I don't know that I need to save it. I'll probably won't play it again anytime soon. But, all right. Back to the main screen. And here are the mods. Okay, yeah, it looks like there's people that made them. So there's a lot of potential behind the game if it gets enough support and if, you know, people like playing it. Pin Moon lets you play a pinball game. Nice. That's entirely up to you guys, though. That's it for me today. Thank you for joining me. I will catch you all next time. See you later.